into predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. Good morning, Sister Crossing. Welcome to Friday, January 26th. I'm Tyler. I'm Holly. This is kind of a quick week. I agree. It was nice to wake up to the snow this morning, even if it's not enough to plan. It's still pretty, though. Let's find out what today and the weekend hold. Sorry, Central. No chance of snow today. That sucks. No, it doesn't. You're right. So today the high is 39 and the low is 28. And there's about a 0% chance of rain in the morning, which is right now. So everybody, look out your windows. Is it raining? Yes or no? Go to the polls at cchs.com slash weather. You should go to Google and go to the polls, but polls are closed. It is most likely not going to rain. It's just not going to rain. It's just not. It's not. And, but the wind will be blowing. P put on a sweatshirt to stay warm, and that is all we have to say about that. Well, that is it from us. Back to you. No, wait. We forgot lunch. We did forget lunch. So for lunch, we are having pizza of the day, which today is Thursday, so we are having Thursday pizza, bacon cheeseburgers, Chicken and waffles, and sweet potato fries. That's it from us. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, guys. Now you will have the opportunity to vote for a staff member of the term. The Renaissance Club wants to acknowledge the commitment, effort, inventiveness, and persistence that our adults contribute to our community. Don't you know a staff member who deserves to be recognized for their hard work and dedication to our school? Well, adult, what adults here at CCHS motivates you the most and encourages you to move forward? You will receive a ballot during the second period, and Ren Club kids will be around to collect them at the end of the period. Thank you for taking your time to vote. Next, we have a few miscellaneous announcements. First, if you are missing anything from wallets to glasses to a winter coat, you need to check the lost and found. Anything in the lost and found will be taken to Volunteers of America this week. Here's another exciting program coming up. Are you creative, interested in the arts, and meeting new people? Looking to change the world? Then the Mosaic program may, may be the place for you. There will be an informational meeting about Mosaic on Friday, February 3rd at 10 a.m. in the guidance office. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, come to the guidance office and get passed to attend. And then, believe it or not, scheduling for next year's classes is coming up. If you are creative, outgoing, and looking to be a part of something bigger than yourself, then you should join the 2018 yearbook staff. Applications are available outside of, computer, of the computer lab 225 and are due Friday, February 24th to Ms. Fuller. And for you sophomores, you have a lot of choices to make for next year. Some of you may, may choose to go to the Career Academy. After high school, I'm going to go to college, work in healthcare. Get a law degree. I'm not sure. Cause nothing's gonna stop us. I decided on a career tech education because I wanted to get a head start in my career. It's a program that looks challenging and fun. I'm getting a jump on college and earning free college credits. Career technical education has been revolutionized. It gives you an edge as you enter the workforce or college. Going into college, I had free credits and hands-on experience that put me ahead of other students. Career technical students have the advantage of a deeper understanding because of the real world experience. The workplace is more technical and therefore the need for a skilled workforce is greater. Career technical education is something we look for when recruiting talent. It just put me so much further ahead than everybody else coming out of high school. We really value a career tech education because the students are so well trained they can hit the ground running. You'll have a different learning experience. It's critical thinking. You're engaged. We work in groups to solve problems and just think differently together. We're really a team. Everyone in class is just trying to help each other out. My program is interesting, engaging, and there's never a dull moment. When you're working on something you like, it's actually really fun. I work on a project here during the day and then cheer on my team at my home school during the evening. I'm still close to my friends at my home school, plus I got to make new friends here. You're still involved in clubs and sports at your home school. You're just expanding your possibilities. Career technical education is a proven, successful way to advance you to a career. 
Career tech is my plan to prepare for college. Get a good job. Prepare for my future. Nothing's gonna stop so much fun and a great way to move forward toward your career. Now we have the rundown of clubs. Today GSA meets in Mr. Mr. Osborne's room after school. In GSA news, they have an amazing event coming up on February 10th. GSA is hosting an artist, actress, and transgender activist named Staley Jophiel Monroe. There will be a Q&A with her in room 264, Mr. Osborne's room, from 3.30 to 4.30. Plus there will be some amazing food served. Put this on your calendar now, February 10th. Now let's head to the locker room for sports. Good morning, Central Carson. I'm Ethan. And I'm Wolfgang. And here's sports. First in spring sports, Lady Commons, don't forget about softball conditioning. It is Mondays and Wednesdays from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Meet outside the locker room. Gym bath can be stored in room 237 during the day. Also, open hitting and throwing is every Saturday morning in January from 7 to 8.30 a.m. in the Alks Gym. Please plan on attending and bring your gloves, bats, and batting helmets. And also, baseball conditioning will be next Monday, January 30th, in the Ox Gym from 6 to 7. Conditioning will be every Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 7, and on Fridays after school from 3.30 to 4.30. If you have any questions, see Coach Todd in the school store. And now here are games coming up. Today, our boys basketball team is going against UA here at home, and the Lady Comets are traveling to UA. Both of these games are PJ Knights. Good luck to all our athletes competing over the next few days. That's all we have for today. Back to you guys. Thanks, guys. Now we have Chance and Jaden with information on the blizzard of 1978. Good morning, Central. I'm Chance. And I'm Jade. And today we'll be talking about something that happened today in history. Well, let's get started. First up, I want to say happy birthday to my mom. Sorry I didn't say it earlier. I forgot. Today is the anniversary of one of the worst blizzards in Ohio history. The Great Blizzard of 1978, also known as the White Hurricane. There was over 40 inches of snow and 100 mile per hour winds. There was a total of 71 deaths, but on the bright side, you could have made a big snowman or slice down 62 on a sled in that horrific weather. I don't think you would have wanted to. I would have. But the kids probably enjoyed the snow days, playing outside in the snow after the blizzard was over. Well, that's all from us. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, guys. That was interesting and hard to imagine. I'm going to ask my mom tonight if she remembers this. Well, that's it for, fr for today. Have a great Friday. And a fun, safe weekend. See you tomorrow, Central.